Hello everyone and welcome back. Hi, I'm Misha Grimes and welcome to a brand new video. I kind of look, I do have a ponytail here. Um, my hair is very greasy, it's a mess, but we're going with it. Hi, so today is gonna be a workout with me and what I eat in a day. I know that you guys really like these videos and they provide some inspo for you all. Um, I am very aware that these videos don't get the best views, but that's not what this is about. I know that those of you that do watch them absolutely love them. So that is why I continue to make them. It has been a little while since I made a video. And to be honest, it's because I get obsessed with food. It's all that I eat. And then I can't film a new what I eat in a day because I'm basically eating the exact same thing as I was in the last what I eat in a day. So I've kind of mixed it up a bit more recently. Um, I was getting very stuck in a rut of eating the same food, getting obsessed with it and then getting bored of it literally me in a nutshell uh, my whole family is like that as well um, and i do that with snacks as well so a lot of the snacks that i will have eaten in my previous what you know days i couldn't even face now because i've eaten them so much that i'm sick of them am i the only one that does that <laughs> let me know um so yeah you're gonna work out with me today we're gonna go through a leg day workout um it has started raining so I don't think I'm going to be able to work out outside, which is infuriating because I'm just not someone that really likes to work out inside nowadays. Um, I personally haven't gone back to the gym yet just because... I don't know, I'm not quite ready for that step. Um, so I'm sure that will happen in time, but, you know, just I'm going to let it kind of do its thing, open up, everyone figure out what's going on, and then go from there. If you are going, that is totally up to you. Let like, you go, Dan Coco. Um, but I'm still absolutely loving home workouts, so I'm sticking with it at the moment. Um, then also to mention, I like to give a little fact file on myself at the beginning of every single one of these videos so you kind of if you've never watched them before understand a little bit more about me and my eating habits um so long story short i intermittent fast as you can probably also tell i can't sit still um i've noticed this more and more recently i'm literally constantly moving but anyway i intermittent fast which means i eat in a specific hours windows of, hour windows of the you know what i mean I typically will intermittent fast between 8 p.m. and 2 p.m. the next day. So that is a 16 hour fast, isn't it? Let me check. Uh, 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11, 12. Wait, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Sorry, no, it's an 18 hour. Didn't even realize. But realistically, I end up finishing eating like nine, let's say. So then it's more of a 17 hour, or sometimes it'll be 10. It's very flexible. I don't like stick myself to, I cannot eat before 2 p.m. If I get hungry before 2 p.m., then I will eat. But personally, I am someone that does not get hungry in the morning. It's just not a bit of me. I'm not a morning eater. The other week, um, me and Jake went to London and we went for like a family brunch. And I was eating pancakes at 10 o'clock in the morning or like 9.30 and I was like, this is so nice, but I can't even enjoy it because I'm not hungry yet. Um, so yes, and also if I'm away, I don't stick to this. This is just something that I do when I'm at home or when I can um, because it suits me. The main reason I actually do it is because of my stomach issues. In case you guys didn't know, I have a lot of different stomach issues problems that just my digestion is not my best friend um and this just gives my body some extra time to process the food that has gone in from the day before whereas if i literally woke up and ate straight away i would spend the entire day with indigestion because my body hasn't finished processing the food from the night before because mine takes a little bit longer but yes so that's a little synopsis. Also, I'm allergic to dairy and intolerant to soy. I know, joyous. I am so fun to be around. In case you also want to know, I'm allergic to SLS in the toothpaste and to latex in condoms. Woo! I'm so fun. <laughs> But no, um, I do actually think I want to take another allergy test for my dairy because I'm very aware that I have accidentally had it occasionally, um, like accidentally like a bite of something that's got milk in it or something and I've been okay. So I think my allergy is now probably more of an intolerance because I know my stomach doesn't like it because if I have it, I don't poop for like a week. But I don't think it's a full-fledged allergy anymore, which 
I'm actually kind of pleased about um, because I don't want to worry every time I accidentally have something because you know shiz happens people make food for you you order something in a restaurant they don't tell you an ingredient blah 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 blah, 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 blah. so yes that is all also I get a lot of confusion on whether I'm vegan or not because I don't eat dairy like I will never go out and eat dairy like that's just it's just not a bit of me um since being dairy free and being allergic to it I just don't I don't really like miss it that much and I just know that I won't ever go out and like order a cheeseburger um but I do eat meat which confuses people because I eat a lot of vegan food because that means it's dairy free um so I know I've got that covered and I love vegan food but I do still eat meat which confuses people because I'm like oh yeah I'm gonna have this that's vegan but then I'm gonna add like chicken to it but that's just my personal way of doing things, each to their own. Um, to me, I think I'm making small movements towards being vegan, which I think is really great um, and it works for me. But we are gonna go, we are gonna work out. Hello, okay, so it honestly looks like it's about 10 p.m. and it's literally so early, it's really quite sad. Um, but we are gonna start actually making my brunch, my first meal of the day, before I work out because this one needs to take some time to sit and do its thing. So, I actually brought us to my dining room because we all know that I absolutely hate my kitchen. It's just not very aesthetically pleasing. Not that you can even see anything because it's so dark. I'm gonna show you what goes into this breakfast. Well, brunch, lunch, liner. Also, drink your water. So, this is going to be overnight oats, but I didn't do them overnight because I always forget to, so you just give them a few hours and they'll be fine. So this is a couple of hours before I'm going to eat it. So first up, we have jumbo rolled oats. Um, I do quite like the, the fat oats because they're not too like little bitty. Um, these are just from Co-op. And this is a little bowl that gives me some measurements. So I'm gonna do about a cup. Why is it not coming out? Come on! Excuse me, oats. Why aren't you coming out? I've got about a cup of oats here, and I've got also a complete mess. So I'm just gonna. Okay, so we've got our carbs. Now we want some protein. So we are gonna take some of the woman's best. I don't think I've done a what I eat in a day and not shown this because I absolutely love it. Vegan protein, chocolate, it's actually really good ingredients. And I'm just gonna take like a, a tablespoon, pop that into the oats because we're making chocolatey overnight oats. There we go, just give that a wee mix. Then I'm gonna take some organic cacao powder. This is gonna give it some more chocolatey flavor. So I'm just gonna take a teaspoon of that. There we go. Then something that I add in is some organic chia seeds, just because um, they help you poo. They're full of fiber, they're great for you. So I just add in a little teaspoon. Then a cheeky secret ingredient is some pink Himalayan rock salt, just a little bit. Um, this I actually got from TK Maxx um, and it's huge and it's really good because you can't lose it. Then we're going to start with liquids. So I'm going to take my coconut and almond milk. Honestly, any dairy free milk or dairy milk if you want it will do. And I'm going to do about a cup of that as well. I'm going to give this a good old mix. Try not to get it everywhere, but we know I'm not very good at that. I don't know if you can see what it's looking like thus far. Mixy, 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 mixy. The cacao powder is quite hard to mix in, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, whilst I'm mixing that, I'm also gonna add just a drizzle of this maple syrup, but this is made out of carob. I don't know how to say that. Fruit sugar, basically, it's a natural syrup. Ooh, and it's brand spanking new, as we can see. I'm literally just going to pop in a teaspoon. Now it looks like this, really unappealing, but I promise you it'll taste really, really good. 
So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a couple of hours and then it'll be ready for me after my workout. Woo! And I will be topping it with some banana. Okay, so I've set up in the dining room. Likelihood of mum killing me when she gets in. Very high, very high, um, but we'll go with it. Okay, so I used some of Annie Openshaw's like workout things that she puts on her Instagrams and I tagged her a few times on my story. She brought out an ebook of like an at home workout plan. It's a seven week plan. So she messaged me and asked me if I wanted to have it, to which I said yes. Um, and now I've got it, it's a seven week plan. I've actually completed the first two weeks and I'm actually now on the third week. Um, so you can tell that I'm enjoying it. Um, also this same to the is annoying me. Um, but basically it is honestly the most clever thing ever. It's on this app um, and it says that this day one of week three is the lower body and it'll take 45 minutes. This is not sponsored, she literally gifted me the book. I just really like it and talk about something that I like. Especially when it's a smaller business, obviously it's an Instagram girl that has set this up, well I've been Instagram girl. And then it tells me my different exercises. So today I'm doing a sumo squat. Um, I've got to do 10 reps four times. And also if you click on video, here's a little video of Annie doing it so I can make sure that my posture is correct, which is honestly the most useful thing ever. If you are just getting into fitness and working out, I would 10 out of 10 recommend this plan. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a heavy leg day. All I'm gonna need is my weight, resistant band, and I've got my mat and my bench in case I need it. Um, but let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my outfit, oh, oh god, whoopsies. Today's outfit is Fabletics sports bra, um, Gymshark leggings, and then my trainers and my Nike ones. I never know the names of them, I'm really sorry. But without further ado, we're gonna get this workout off and rolling. My band is from Grace Fritz B&D store. This is the heavy one because I left the medium at Jake's um, and it's upstairs because he brought it back and I can't bother to go up there. <laughs> then I've got my weight. If you're wondering what this weight is, I honestly don't know. Um, these are two and a half, I don't know if they're kilos or pounds. Um, I don't know how much the metal bracket is, but I've got three of the two and a half on each side. Don't know if they're kilos or pounds. <laughs> Okay, so that is the main bulk of my workout done, but I still have the finisher. This is what I actually really like about her plan, is you have like the main of the workout, and then you have the five minute finisher at the end. Um, so this is pop squats, frog pumps, and crab walks, and it's that three times over and it's eight minutes to two and my stomach has just started grumbling. So I'm gonna bosh this out and then, oh, when you do each of them for 30 seconds, you do it three times over. 
going to bosh that out and then I've got my lovely oats waiting for me. Mm, 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 mm. That was so unsexy, I'm really sorry. Let's do this. Repeat that twice more. I'll see you when I'm eating. Hi, I'm back. I'm changed. I'm out of my gym gear. And, okay, so it's been here in the fridge for a couple of hours. So it's gone like a bit like <laughs> gloopy. It looks disgusting. But I've got half of a banana, which I need to take the skin off. What am I doing? I'm just going to chop up. And check on top. See you when I'm eating it. Hi. So I know this isn't very good practice to be eating on my bed, but um, it's cold and cozy in here, and I don't do it too often, but. Honestly, it's just so good. Um, so I've topped it with a banana, a little bit of walnuts, and some cinnamon. Mm 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 mm. And also, still drinking water. This is my last cup of water drank. On to the second one. Um. I'm going to eat this, I'm going to answer some emails, and FaceTime Chloe. Hi! It's a bit later now, it's 5.16, um, and to be fair, those oats do fill me up, um, more than like other things normally would. But, it's been a little bit, and me and mum are about to head to the recycling centre, um, so I feel like I need a little bit of a pick-me-up. need to be awoken. So, I'm going to go downstairs and make some sort of snack. I love how I say some sort of snack. I know exactly what it's going to be, because I know what I'm obsessed with lately. So yes, I've been writing down notes for a video, um, I've been planning out stuff, I've been answering emails, sorting out accountant stuff. Not very interesting, but I need to get my butt up and wiggle a bit more because I need to get my steps up for the day. So yeah, and uh, when I was on FaceTime to Chloe earlier, she was telling me about what I've got in store because I'm going to see her soon. And we're seeing her PT and he's genuinely going to kill me. I'm scared. Hi, so we're in the ugly kitchen. I know it's gross, but we're going with it. So, okay. First part of this uses this bad boy. So this is my favourite oat milk. Um, this is the Oatly Semi Drink. Do not get the skinny one, it's disgusting. But, mum's already prepping her dinner, fair play to her. I'm having a little dance because I'm cold, honestly. Don't move into a period property because in the winter it's freezing and in the summer it's boiling. But typically I would make a Delonia coffee, whatever they're called, where you put like ice and you make like an iced kind of coffee vibe. But it's so cold today that I know I had cold oats, but I kind of want like a warm coffee. So I might throw it back to make something that I have not made in forever. So it's basically the exact same ingredients. I'm just gonna microwave the milk and froth it and hope the frother still works. Um, and also you guys will be pleased to hear that the kitchen is finally being redone! No. Yay! No, no, this will be a utility yeah, room. Yeah, well this is gonna, that will still apply her. 
and this will turn into a utility room and that like the, the outside there's like a, an extension on the house that way that i've never really showed you guys because it's kind of a useless bit of the building and ugly bit like her yeah really um so the kitchen's going in there we're very excited yeah and then we're gonna move out <laughs> because that's what we do that's a whole other story i'll explain that in another video oat milk in now I'm going to pop it in the microwave. Do you remember how long we used to microwave it for? for uh, you used to microwave it for almost five minutes. I think it was six used to, minutes. used to go everywhere. I am normal and I microwaved it for four minutes. Okay, so I'm let's four start and a half. with four. I'm doing four and a half. If you didn't know, me and mum like our coffee extra hot. We're not normal. Unless our tongue burns, we're not happy. Literally. Um, and and I am having mash and sausages tonight. That's with her a cauliflower mash. And also some lamb. Now I'm gonna take this ugly, burnt, destroyed. Um, this is like oh, a. Oh no! I just realised something. Oh, We're trying to be quick and do this with speed, mother. Um, so I don't bore you all to death. But hopefully the blender cup or the like mixer up cup. Here we go. This is what I was after. I'm gonna use this Lilette's rich hazelnut decaf because you all know I do decaf. Do you remember? Do we put the coffee in when it mixes or after the mix? No, mix? after. Okay. I've that. Uh, Anya does it before, but okay. she's weird. I'm now going to take this Little Miss Princess mug, and then I'm going to take a teaspoon of coffee. And if she doesn't use the Little Princess mug, it doesn't taste as good. No. And then I'm just going to pour in a little bit of hot water. Try to make this as less liquidy as I physically can. Yeah. You could also use milk. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and now I'm gonna grab some of our sweetener drops. I'm gonna go with cinnamon. Yeah, excuse me, this is not artificial sweetener, just to put out No, there. this is natural stevia. I found these actually, so I'm gonna take the credit. Yeah. These are very strong, so I'm literally gonna do like one and two drops. That's probably even too I sweet. Do, I do 12 with my coffee. You did 12? Please tell me to take the milk. No. You do 12. I started with 3 and I progressed to 4 and now I'm at 12. This time next week will be 24. Do you know what I mean? That is like pure sugar. Oh, yeah, and, that, sugar. and it's really weird because there are certain sweets that I just will not eat because they're too sweet. If I was in an imaginary world where I hadn't run out of these, I'd be having one of these bad boys. Here we go. Here we go, we've got Aviv bar. Um, these are my favourite bars. I've spoken about them so many times in my Amazon hauls. But I've literally got one arriving today or tomorrow, a package from Amazon, because I've run out of them. As per usual, I go through them so, so often. And so does your sister. Um, so I'm going to have to make do with a different kind of bar or snack that I don't like as much, but we'll go with it. It might have spilled a little bit. Sausage I told you. I said for minutes she wouldn't listen to me. Oh, it's boiling. It's boiling. It's boiling. Okay. Now I'm going to pour it into the... Mixer. I'm not sure if that one works. Well, I hope it does because it's in no, wet. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, the, the other, the other one. Pour it in here. And then... Yeah, it's the other one that works. As I said. That's working. Oh, okay. It's working. building up the steam, literally. Speed, you mean? Steam and speed. There we go. Ooh, it's ready, people! Can you add the coffee's decaf? I've already said the coffee's decaf. Here we go. Can you see that foamy milk? Can you see that foamy milk? <laughs> oh my god. My latte art is nothing to be proud of. Here we go. Here's my latte art. Stunning. Classic. Beautiful. Great work there, Mish. Cheers. Okay, peeps, we've changed setup. Got my coffee and my snacky of choice is these bad boys. These are the Livia Caramel Almond Swirl. This is the last pack I have of them um, because these are what Anya's been obsessed with. Um, and again, you would have seen them in my Amazon haul. So these are vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, and it's basically these little biscuits that come in this little almond sauce. I've showed you them so many times, but they are great. A little afternoon pick-me-up. 
whilst I do some more work. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Sorry I couldn't film that because I had some work emails that I didn't want you guys to be able to see because it's top secret exciting stuff. Um, but isn't it weird how we feel the need to film what we're eating to prove that we've eaten it? Like, what the hell? We shouldn't live like that. But anyway, we are now going to go off to the recycling centre before it closes and then I need to put my dinner on. Um, and I might have squeezed my spot. Whoopsies. Hi, I've just been told that we're not having dinner till later, so... I've got a page. White flesh peaches are the best. Mm. And we're back in the kitchen. Yes, we are. Um, because I'm starting to make my dinner. So it's like seven, so it's a bit late, but we're going with it. I'm actually not too hungry. Um, fill me up. Okay, so tonight we are having salmon. Yes, you could have any meat, fish, vegan, Mess with this, whatever you fancy, but salmon. Butternut squash chips. These are just from Sainsbury's. I've never actually seen them before, but they looked really cute. Um, and they're basically like single cut fries, but they're made out of butternut squash. And that's what they look like. And then I'm also thinking, we're gonna have some avocado. No, that's not an avocado, that's a mushroom. I was thinking about avocados, I said mushroom. Some mushrooms, some courgettes, and probably some avocado. But baking parchment, sprinkle cut fries, down, like so. Then I grab my fry light coconut and spray that on. Then we're gonna go for some pink and lay in rock salt, which helps with your hydration and it's just the best salt and the best tasting one on the planet. Then where's my pepper? Considering how big this pepper is, kind of concerns me how easy it is to lose it. Um, and then I'm gonna add some garlic seasoning. I might also actually, controversial, considering I've already used these today, but put a bit of cinnamon on them. I know, seems a bit weird, but honestly it's really good. And then I'm going to grab a tiny bit of that maple syrup I used earlier, or the natural fruit maple syrup, and just drizzle a little bit on. Um, and now I'm going to pop these in the oven. Does anybody else watch Natasha Denona and think how does she make her food look so pretty? Now, actually I think I might grill my salmon. I'm more of a grilled salmon person. But I was going to fry these, but I actually might oven bake them. Um, just because I'm oven baking other stuff. So again, we've got this, oh my god that's boiling. A little tray, I got that from Ikea. Great purchase from me. I'm going to grab some more baking parchment. I honestly don't know what I used to do because I never used to use baking parchment. So like, what did I use? I don't get. Um, so I'm gonna grab a knife. Pop it over there. Apologise about any crap anywhere, but that's what happens when you live with four other adults. So I'm just gonna chop these up and then chuck them in there. Oh, you can't see. Them. They're going in here. Again, spray them with the oil, spray them, with, spray them, season them with some pepper, season them with some salt, and then some more garlic. I had to make that turn up his classical music to record this, but. Here is my dinner. We've got two pieces of salmon. I ended up basically just putting some pepper and garlic. I don't salt salmon because it's salty enough. Sundry tomatoes, olives, the butternut squash chip things, um, and then avocado, mushrooms, courgette, some hummus, some sriracha, and some um, cream cheese. Bye. <laughs> I finished mine and I stole a mini version.
of mum's. I've got a sausage with some cauliflower mash and onion and gravy. I'm going with three. Because it's a mini version. Okay. I'm now eating some umbar. Yeah, chocolate it's time. Pistachio. It's dessert time. Step one, take my iron. Step two, raspberries. Oh, I can't see. Raspberries, strawberries, apple. Step three, Nush natural yogurt. I've moved on to a natural vibe recently rather than raspberry. Make a hole in the middle. And then pick up half of one of these rhythm bars. Some dried seeds. A wee petite drizzle. There's nothing petite about that drizzle. Oh, honey. And there we go. This is my new obsession. I wonder how long it will last. Yeah. I give it max two weeks. Good slash. Cheers. Oh, well, I'm going to the bar. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. <laughs> I look wow sexy, let's say. So, I've got out the bar. I'm just cleansing my skin and I am actually off to bed to edit this video because as you guys are watching this, it's Wednesday. So if you're watching this today, it went out. You're watching this on Thursday and I filmed this on Wednesday. But I am very full. I have a nice food baby going on. I'm actually very bloated today. Um, I'm not sure why my bloat's been playing up recently, but it's fine, we go with. Um, so this is everything I ate today. Um, lots of yummy, scrummy food. I hope it has provided some sort of inspo for any of you out there that are feeling stuck in a rut. Um, tomorrow I'm going to make a lentil spaghetti um, and I would say I'll film on my stories but I have so much to do tomorrow before I go away so that probably won't happen but anyway I will try and like summarise the recipes that I made up um, down below in the description box but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video um, I like filming what I eat, um, even though they're the most unesthetic, un-Instagrammable, un, un foods, meals, layouts, kitchen, you know, it's real life and hopefully you guys can relate to that. Um, definitely a lot more than some of these cinematic, beautiful videos. I wish my food could look like that, but I don't have the time, I don't have the energy, and I don't have the equipment. <laughs> So, I'm going to love you guys and leave you. I hope you have enjoyed. And make sure to give a like and subscribe. Let me know what videos you want to see. Because I'm kind of hitting a bit of a roadblock. Um, so, yeah. I love you guys a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.